on a plane with children can test any parent's patience. But add autism into the mix and the list of what can go wrong grows longer. In fact, autism is often a barrier that prevents families from traveling or even going outside the home to community events. Many of these families have challenges and uh, have a desire to travel. Uh, I think every child deserves to go on vacation and visit families. Hey, buddy! In a controlled setting, Wings for Autism lets parents and their children practice air travel, from the ticket counter to going through security to boarding the plane. JetBlue started the program three years ago in Boston, and its first stop on the West Coast was Burbank. The idea isn't, you know, for this to happen only one time and then they've learned the entire process, but it's to kind of give them a feel of what it looks like. It's a spectrum disorder and I think it, it, it is going to require different children, different kinds of exposure to get them to a place where they feel comfortable going through the entire process as a family. Walk with us. Thank you. The Centers for Disease Control reports that two out of 100 American children have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, leading to an increased understanding of the disability among the country's general population. I think people in the public probably have assumptions about the, the child's cognitive level, and that cognitive assumption may be one of low level and children with, uh, with autism spectrum disorder. And that's why it's a spectrum, is because children are, um, have a full range of intelligence. About 75 families, making for more than 200 people, participated in the event, including JetBlue employees who volunteered their time. Do you unbuckle your seatbelt? Just lift the flap? Okay, so you want to push them, put them up at the same time. Oh. Yep, all the way up. Keep pushing, there you go. Now don't push forward because that's down. We want to go up, right? Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. <laughs> pull up. It wants you to pull up. There you go. Now you got it. You got to pull back to go up in the sky, right? Michael, what was the best part of being on the airplane? Watching TV. Watching the TV? Did you go into the pilot's cockpit as well? What did he show you? All the plane stuff. All the plane stuff? Did I wear the fire truck? Did he show you how the airplane talks? What, what did the airplane say? Noises are really the big characteristic that she doesn't like and when she hears all those noises and everything, she wants to flee and this gave her an opportunity to actually understand give her a little bit more time that was needed to get her on the plane. Hey, are you having fun? No. No. <laughs> Besides Boston and Burbank, the Wings for Autism program will travel to New York, Florida, and Connecticut later this year. I meet Pilot and he teach me how to fly. And it works. And I can be the pilot for now. And I got a treat from there as I could. And I wish to be a pilot in the jet blue. <laughs> well, see you later. Thank you so much for being a part of this experience with us. We really appreciate you being here. And we hope that you've enjoyed the experience. Reporting from Bob Hope Airport, I'm Peter Maserlian with the Burbank On Demand cover story.